guys, it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Welcome to your 10 minute how to split for beginners to advance. Just something you can do a couple times a week or even daily. It's gonna be five different moves on each side and they're gonna be one minute each for a total of 10 minutes. So let's get into it. You're gonna start kneeling. I would either have a mat or a cushion for your knees and we're gonna start with a half split. So you're gonna keep your left knee kneeling and reach your right leg straight forward with your foot flexed. And I want you to try to reach your tailbone back. You can put your hands on your right thigh and elongate your spine. As you can see, it's quite windy here. So we're gonna negotiate that together. You can come down as well with your hands on either side of this right leg, but I really want you to keep lengthening through your back body. Right hip crease dropping down. And let's find some core engagement here. Point your toes straight up to the ceiling rather than forward so we get more length through the back of the leg. Taking a couple deep breaths here. And if you understand this idea, think of pulling your kneecap up and squeezing your thigh. Okay, we're gonna switch into a low lunge, staying on this same side. So plant the right foot, shift forward, bring both hands to the inside of the right leg and let your hips sink to the floor. Okay, your right knee, pull it in. So you're trying to squeeze it into the right arm. And now tuck your hips under so that you have less of a back bend here, right? I'm not having my butt stuck up for this one. I'm scooping it underneath my body. And we're gonna hold here for about another 30 seconds. Today we're in beautiful Tinos, Greece. And this is kind of like the porch to our hotel room. It is so gorgeous. Such a good place to do some flexibility, stretching. So I thought, let's work on those splits today, guys. Okay, the next move is going to be dynamic, moving between those first two moves. We're gonna keep the leg outside of the hand. So arms are to the inside of the leg still. Shift the hips back, you can walk the hands to you. Flex the foot and you can always come up right here. This is gonna take more balance and core strength. Then plant the hands, shift forward and drop your hips. Shift the hips back, straighten the front leg, open the chest up, and then shift forward and drop the hips. Okay, so when we go into the half split, it's going to prepare the front leg for the full split. And when we come into this lower lunge, it's going to prepare the back hip flexor for the full front splits. Shifting forward and back. Okay. When I move into the half splits, I'm almost thinking of my torso, my spine, pulling away from my hips. So lengthening the abdominal wall. Okay, last one here. Now walk your right foot in between your hands. Straighten the leg, flex the toes, and I want you to make a windshield wiper action. So the leg's gonna turn in and out. Now, of course, you can also do this up here. I would laugh so hard right now if I fell into this pool, and maybe you would too. So I'm definitely working my balance here. I'm rolling my knee out, and then I'm gonna roll it in, opening up through this right hamstring. So these were our four moves to prep for our split on the right leg. Then we're gonna do and repeat the four on the left leg, and then we'll attempt the splits, okay? So nice and easy routine to regularly implement. Uh, if you have the time, I would suggest doing it after a workout so the body's warmer. Okay guys, step it into kneeling. Ready? We're gonna take all of those with the left leg in front. So we're kneeling. We're gonna start with the half split. The leg is in line with the left hip. I'm pushing my hips back and opening my chest up. And then you're gonna slowly come forward. Okay, this leg feels a little bit tighter for me, so I want you to pay attention to that too in your body. So if you need to take a little bend into the knee, that's not wrong, right? There's a difference between slight discomfort in a stretch and pain. So if you're feeling pain, you definitely want to back off. If you're just like, oh my gosh, this is hard work, that's okay, stick through it. 
You can always put your hands on chairs or blocks to bring the height up to make this more accessible. So like hands would be underneath the shoulders on some kind of elevation. Okay, you don't need any specific equipment to do this. So just remember, you can use household items. Okay, we're gonna move into our lower lunge. So plant the left foot, walk it forward. We're dropping the hips and both hands are to the inside of the leg. Now I'm staying on the same side so that you can get a different angle of the exercises of the stretches. So look at my back leg in my low lunge. Your knee is to point down and not turn out. So I want you to turn your knee straight to the floor and bring your right hip forward. So this is the nice anatomical position for when we get into our splits. We want squared hips and the knee of the back leg pointing down. The front knee is hugging in. So think of your left knee, your left inner thigh, squeezing towards your left shoulder. Okay, draw the belly in, fill up that lower back. Okay, we're gonna move into our dynamic stretch where we move between the half split and the low lunge. So you're just gonna kind of crawl your hands towards your body straighten the front leg hug the right hip in woo hamstring stretch and then shift it forward for the hip flexor and the quad stretch in the back leg here okay, shifting it back and remember you can keep your hands down put them on support bring them to the hips this is definitely going to feel challenging not just for the stretch but also for your balance low lunge and into your half split. Okay, if you're staying down, remember to push your chest forward rather than to the floor. We're looking for length through that spine. Last one here. Good, and now move your left foot in between your hands and straighten the leg, flex the toes, and we're gonna do windshield wipers. So the leg's gonna turn in and out. I'm trying to pull my right hip over my right knee so it's not swaying out to the side. My abs are pulling up. My left quad is pulling up. You guys, we've almost done it. We're heading into the splits on the right leg after this, but let's finish this last 30 seconds of our TikTok, our windshield wipers in this front leg to continue to open up this hamstring. Good work, guys. Okay, are we ready? So step it into kneeling, take a deep breath, and we're gonna attempt the splits. So start in your half split with the right leg forward to the inside of the arms, one on each side. Walk the right foot forward out in front of you, walk the back knee back in space. So I don't care about you getting all the way down, I care about right form. So this back knee, I don't want it to open up to the left wall. So spin the left knee down, the left hip forward, and draw the right hip down. Now you can flex the front toes and extend your spine. Woo! If you wanna make it more active, your back toes can tuck. You can drive your left heel back and extend your chest forward. Keep bringing the back hip forward and the front hip backwards to help square those hips. Squeeze your front quad. Good work, and then relax the back knee, and we step in. Okay, let's attempt it on the left. Here we go. So the left leg's gonna come through, one hand on each side, and walk the left leg forward. Now your modification for this is to keep your legs closer together, more like this. You start to back the legs apart the further you go. I'm going to take this right hip forward, Right knee points down, turn it in more than you even think. Flex the front foot, engage the quad. 
Another modification would be to bring both hands to the inside of your front leg and take your front leg wider on a diagonal out to the left on this side. You can also tuck those back toes and extend the spine. Let's take one big deep breath in, knowing we just made it through a full 10 minute splits routine. Pretty amazing. Good work. What a view. Okay, relax. Step it in. Give me a high five. We've done it together. Good work on completing your 10 minute splits routine. I hope this taught you some exercises, some flexibility exercises to get you into the splits. And I hope you, I gave you some good cues in order to execute them properly without getting injured and being successful. My name's Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. Thank you so much for being here today. Please hit that subscribe button below. And I can't wait to see you on the next workout or mobility routine. Bye guys.